I'm sure it won't take you too long before your catalogue looks a little like this, with bunches of footage from different occasions all imported into your organiser workspace. Now working through this footage to find the best clips for a particular occasion that you can use in a video or movie project can be a little tiresome. But thankfully, inside Premiere Elements 10, we have the ability to sort through the source files very quickly and very efficiently using a little helper technology that many of you might not have seen before. We all know that using keyword tags are a great way to organise and manage our source files. But going through each of the clips and adding in these keyword tags can take a fair bit of time. Have a look at this entry here that we have in the keyword tags panel. It's called Smart Tags, and these are all tags that you haven't placed here. Instead, the organizer has placed these tags here and attributed these tags to your source files without you even knowing it. It's all part of a technology that we call Auto Analyzer. And if we go up to Edits and then down to the Preferences entry and across to General, we will see the preferences for the organizer workspace. One of the preferences entries is Media Analysis. And it's under this heading that we can find all of the auto analyzer options. You can see here we can analyze the media for smart tags automatically. I choose to leave this one on. Here are the different types of tags that the organizer will attribute to our files. We can also choose to run the analyzer on system startup. I have this one turned off for the moment. And we can run the analyzer when we're not doing any other tasks. I'm just going to click OK now. At any time, we can select a particular clip right click and then go down to run auto analyzer and this will instruct Premier Elements to run the analyzer across this particular clip and in doing so it will attribute different tags to that particular clip. So let's look at how these smart tags provided by the auto analyzer can help us quickly find the footage that we need for particular projects. For instance, we might be looking for source files with some close-up pictures of faces. If we just click on the close-up option underneath faces, all the videos with close-ups are placed at the beginning of our workspace. So we know that these clips have good close-ups in them. Let's go back to show all, close that down and look at one of the other smart tags. Here under motion, you can see that we can isolate video clips with pans and video clips with pans to the left. And we know that the clip that is highlighted here will provide us with a pan left. And this will really help if we need a video clip with a pan left to sit within our movie sequence. But that's not the only role that auto analysis plays. You'll notice here that we have a video clip that has been broken down into different scenes. Auto analysis has gone through this clip and created a set of scenes. And this is really great for helping us to isolate the changing action within a particular clip. Here we're seeing it expanded, but if we click on the left facing arrow, it will close down the video scene into just a single thumbnail. And this is another way that auto analysis can help us organize our video clips. Keep in mind that once we've run the auto analyzer over our video clips, that this can actually help us when we apply Smart Trim to our clips in Premiere Elements as well.